The idea of making women approach me reminds me of the Hanayama devil puzzle. It felt impossible to solve, but once I saw it done, it seemed so obvious, and I was left with the feeling of, why didn't I think of that? It felt so obvious that it felt like there must have been something restricting my brain from thinking of the solution. So, to make sure your brain isn't locked in such a way of thinking, I have a question for you. Is it a man's job to approach, or is it a man's job to be noticed? First, ask yourself, what do you even consider an approach to be? Does an approach have to be overt? If not, then wouldn't a girl randomly laughing at a joke you said amongst your group of friends be considered an approach? What if she walks by your seat and accidentally taps you with her ass? Would that be considered an approach? When you think of it like this, a man's ability to be noticed is far more important than his ability to approach. Even if you're still set on the idea of approaching being your job, your approach is much more likely to be Receive positively if you're noticed first. Would you date me? I don't even know who you are. Hey guys, it's Dallas here, and if you like this video, be sure to like, share, and send this video to any girl that's accidentally tapped you with her ass. Being noticed begins before you even leave your house. Let's start this video off with pregame. What is pregame, you ask? Pregame is everything you do before you leave your house in order to be more approachable. And the two things that will impact your pregame are looks and mindset. I'll break these two things down starting with looks. When it comes to looks, there are two things to consider. The first one is your style and grooming. That was a cup. Stylish. According to biologist Helen Fisher, clean and well-fitted clothes along with good grooming habits will make you appear more approachable and attractive to others. So in simpler terms, dress to impress. Your choice of clothing and your ability to groom properly is going to be the first thing people notice. And I think it's better to be noticed for getting these things right than not. It is of course easier to dress well when your clothes fit you better. Which brings me to the second part of looks and that's physique. This is not an overnight fix, but it is well worth the time and effort. I know there's this mass hysteria around the idea of women Woman wanting a dad bod, but this is absolutely not true. According to most studies, 72% of women stated to prefer a body similar to that of Tyler Durden from the movie Fight Club. All the ways you wish you could be, that's me. I look like you want to look, I fuck like you want to fuck, I am smart, capable, and most importantly, I'm free in all the ways that you are not. Studies were also finding that being too big and muscular is actually a turnoff to most women, describing these men as shallow, insecure, emotionally out of control, and narcissistic. Obviously, you don't want to come off as shallow, insecure, emotionally out of control, or narcissistic, which leads me to the second part of your pregame, and that's mindset. <laughs> Too often I hear the advice, just be confident being given up. But what does that even mean? Being confident means to be sure of yourself and your own abilities. So what abilities are you so sure of? When you ask that, the term just be confident sounds a little bit silly. According to psychologist Amy Cuddy, being confident is of course attractive. But why is it attractive? Well, it's because it's something that's not so easily achieved. That's why for this portion, I have some new advice on improving your mindset. To improve your mindset, you must determine two things. One, who you are, and two, what you're doing. When I say to determine who you are, find something that allows you to be proud of yourself. Something that allows you to be confident. If you don't have any such skills, then take pride in the fact that you're going out to face the fear of talking to women. Because that takes courage. And if you're not afraid of talking to women, then take pride in the fact that you lack the fear that most men can't even admit to having. The second part of mindset is the what you are doing. You must prepare yourself for what you are going to do through something called mental rehearsal. What is mental rehearsal? Mental rehearsal is envisioning yourself doing an action. Mental rehearsal is effective at producing stress and increasing confidence. Research from Stanford University also revealed through mental rehearsal, the brain is capable of learning physical tasks even in the absence of real world movement. One of the most important things to rehearse is giving off positive energy. Envision yourself as happy, open, playful, and courageous, and implement these things into your voice, body language, and facial expression. You're about to go out and flirt, so if you don't feel like smiling, then don't leave your house yet. Flirting is the what you're going to be doing, and a big part of this what is giving off happy energy. Now you've completed your pregame and you've left your house. And I'm sure you've all encountered this situation when you're out in public where you see a girl that's attractive and you feel like there was no opportunity to approach. Maybe she was walking too fast or maybe she was about to get on a bus. Either way, you're not given the opportunity to approach her. Women often can feel the same way. And that's why section two is going to be all about giving her an opportunity to approach you. It goes without saying that if approaching you is easier, it is more likely for it to happen. And giving people opportunities to approach you is 
one sure way to make it easier. And if I had to give one tip to creating such opportunities, it would be to be sociable and engage with others. A neurologist named Daniel Amen said, engaging with others will make people more likely to approach you since it makes you appear more open to conversation. There are two key factors to consider when using this tactic. These two factors are impact and setting. By impact, I'm referring to the impact you have on a particular setting via the energy you convey and how familiar you are with the scene. If you're familiar, it'll be easier to strike up a conversation and you may even get special treatment if you're likable. Your likability will be determined by the energy you convey. I will say it is easier to convey likable energy if you're knowledgeable because then you could better relate to the scene you're in. Since I bartend at my parties, I know about certain drinks. I'll often ask the bartender for a drink that requires a lot of ingredients and then say, I'm sorry, I know that's mad action. You got a lot of people right now. And then I'll immediately backtrack and say, you know what? And I'll get a simpler drink. That will probably be the most memorable human interaction that bartender has had for the last hour or so. You can even take it a step further with kindness. Here in New York City, there are laws that allow employers to deduct tips since hourly wages are mandatory. So I always tell the bartender when I leave, next time I'll bring cash since I know they deduct the tips when I tip on a card. Things like this won't just make people give you special treatment, but they'll actually like you and pursue a friendship. Once you have friends in the bar, being sociable is much easier within that community. This also raises your perceived value, making you appear more attractive to women, further increasing the chances she'll approach you. As for setting, just make sure it's optimal for flirting. A place where a girl won't feel watched if she chooses to approach you, and a place that there's a lot of women to begin with. Bars, clubs, and lounges are usually pretty safe bets. Making a girl approach you in Barnes and Nobles is much harder than making a girl approach you at a bar. For this final section, I want to get specific about what things you should want women to notice you for. For starters, you want to actually be engaging with the people you're being sociable with, and this includes actively listening. Dr. John Gottman actually speaks about this. He mentions how actively listening is a highly attractive trait because it shows you're genuinely interested in a person. This goes back to Dale Carnegie's book and how being genuine is a very attractive trait in almost all scenarios. Use humor and playfulness. These two things are much easier for women to engage with, and they're found as universally attractive, according to Dr. Robert Provine. Gift, maybe help? Maybe after the show. No. <laughs> no. Thank you so much. What is this? Well, don't clap, it could be a bomb. We don't know. And the final and most important thing you want a girl to notice you for is for your interest in her. If she notices you for this and chooses to engage with you, executing is gonna be much easier. One way you can get a girl to approach you for your perceived interest in her is by directly prompting her to approach you. You can do this through a number of different ways. One, you can just look at her and smile. You can look at her smile and wink. You can directly use your fingers to wave her over to you or your hands or even nod with your head to get her to come to you or even tap on a seat that's right next to you. But this is the best way to get a girl to approach you. By directly prompting her to approach you, there's no confusion. Once the girls approach you, it's your job to execute and get her digits. If you do something that lowers your attractiveness to her, it is possible that even after you get a girl to approach you, you can do things that can lower your attractiveness to her. And this will show in her body language. I know a lot of guys have trouble reading a woman's body language because it can be very confusing. So right now on screen, I have a video on how to read and how to respond to a woman's body language. If you want to learn more on that, I highly suggest you click on that video. But this has been my guide on how to make a woman approach you. So until next time, peace.